Now in the question number 171, it is asked that in an equalized frame, I gene gets mutated and its product cannot bind the immune cell molecule. If growth medium is provided with lectose, what will be the outcome? This question has taken from biotechnology. In this, this E. coli strain, especially has taken to make lac operon. Lac operon. Lac operon is a system which is, which is made for the lactose metabolism, where lactose is present and glucose is absent. That is again written in my NCRT. So lac operon works only when we provide the lactose. Means what, what will happen? The metabolism of lactose will start. Agree? So here, what will be the outcome? If we see the option one, only Z gene will get transcribed. No. All the three genes in this sequence only, Z, Y, A, they work in a coordination. Z, Y, A genes will be transcribed. This is right. They will start transcripting. Then Z, Y, A genes will not be translating. This is wrong. Because when lactose is, we are providing lactose, they will start transcribing. RNA polymerase will bind the promoter region. This is also wrong. So here in the question 171, second option is the right option. Let's move to the second, the next question. In this question, question number 172, it's given that if the length of a DNA molecule is 1.1 meter, 1.1 meter, what will be the appro approximate number of base pairs? The number of base pairs. So we know the length of the normal length of a DNA. What is the normal length of a DNA? We know it is 2.2 meter. And in a diploid cell, if we say the diploid 2n, the number of base pairs is 6.6 .6 into 10 raised to power 9. 6.6 .6 into 10 raised to power 9 base pairs are present in diploid, whereas in haploid, what will be the number? 3.3 into 10 raised to power 9 base pairs. Here we have to, here we have to find out for the answer of the total base pair in the length 1.1. So if we say the length is 2.2 meter, then what will be the number of base pair in 1.1 meter? Then we have to, what we have to do? The length has to be find out by the number of base pairs 6.6 .6 into 10 base to power 10 base pair, number of base pairs divided by the total length. This way, when we divide, we will get the answer 3.3. So 3.3 into 10 base to power 9 base pair is the right answer. So first option is the right option whereas 6.6 .6 into 10 raised to power 9 base pair which is given in the second option is wrong because that is the number of diploid base pairs. 3.3 into 10 raised to power 6 here is wrong. Again 6.6 .6 and 10 raised to power 6 is wrong. So in this question option number 2, 3, 4 are wrong and option number 1 is right. Moving to the next question. In this question which of the following statements are true for spermatogenesis but do not hold true for oogenesis? Spermatogenesis and oogenesis, you know, both are the different processes. Because for the oogenesis, in the embryonic development only, the primary oocytes will start forming. So, spermatogenesis, in the spermatogenesis, what are the steps which are mentioned here are not present in the oogenesis. So first we read it results in the formation of haploid gamete. It results in the formation of haploid gamete. This is correct. The statement which are true for spermatogenesis but not hold for oogenesis. The statement should not be right for oogenesis. It has to be right for spermatogenesis. So first statement is right because both the gametes we get we get as haploid. Ovum is also haploid. Haploid and sperm is also haploid. Then differentiation of gamete occurs after the completion of completion of meiosis. This is wrong because the meiosis occurs after birth. After birth, the primary oocytes they form during the embryonic development. They start forming. Then after the puberty, the number will be decreasing around 60 to 80 um, thousand. That way, the number of the primary oocytes keep on changing. So meiosis occurs only. During the ovulation, during before the ovulation and before the fertilization. So this is wrong in case of oogenesis.
Now the third option, meiosis occurs continuously in a mitotical dividing stem cell population. No, this is wrong for homogenesis. Why? Whatever number of the oocytes, primary oocytes, oogonia is formed in the ovary will be remain the same even after the birth. So this is wrong. In this statement, this B option, it is controlled by the luteinizing hormone and follicular stimulating hormone secreted by the anterior pituitary. This is absolutely right. This is written in NCRT also, this is right. In the option E, it is initiated at puberty. This is the wrong for oogenesis because puberty is a time when the number of oocytes decreases, not initiated, right? So as per this, if you see A option is right, B is right. So B, C and E are wrong. So we have to look for B, C and E. B, C and E are wrong. Okay, so 173, 4 is the right option. Next question. In this question, question number 174, which of the following is present between the adjacent bones of the vertebral column? The vertebral column, this way, this way we have the vertebral column. The bones, the connecting adjacent bones, um, between the adjacent bone, which uh, structure is present, which tissue is present actually they are asking about. So intercalated discs are not present, why? These are the discs which are present in cardiac muscles. These are present in cardiac muscles. So this is wrong. Cartilages are present, yes. Cartilages are cartilaginous discs are present between the two vertebral column vertebrae. Erular tissues in loose connective tissue which cannot be retaining the posture and the and the adherence and the junction of the vertebra. So this is wrong. Smooth, smooth muscles means involuntary muscles. These cannot be a part of the vertebral column. Vertebral column, we can bend, we can move as well after choice. So this is also wrong. In question number 174, who is the right option? In question number 175, regarding meiosis, which of the following statement is incorrect? There are two stages in meiosis, meiosis 1 and meiosis 2. The first option is right. We have to look for the incorrect. We have to look for the incorrect statement. The second statement, DNA replicates, replication occurs in S phase of meiosis 2. Here, the replication does not occur in S phase. Actually, metabolic activity, activity, activity occurs. The DNA metabolic activity increases. The number, the replication does not occur, but the metabolic activity, internal content, mass increases. So this is the wrong statement. So the third and fourth statements are also right. We are looking for the wrong. So second is the wrong option. One simplified, second is the wrong option. Now the next question. In question number 176, given below are the two statements, statement 1 and statement 2. Although these are time consuming, but the statements are very easy. You can make it out. Statement 1, autoimmune disorder is a condition where body defense mechanism recognizes its own cell as foreign body. This is right. Autoimmunity itself means when the antibody is formed against the body cells. So, this is right statement. The second, Rheumatoid arthritis is a condition where body does not attack self-cell. This statement is wrong. Why? Because rheumatoid arthritis is again autoimmune disorder. Wherever we say the autoimmune disorder means the antibodies has to be formed against the self-cells. This way the statement second is wrong. So we have to look for, uh, in the options we have to look that statement 1 should be right and statement 2 should be wrong. So statement 1 is correct but second is also correct this is wrong statement one and two both are incorrect this is also wrong statement one is correct and statement two is incorrect this is the right option so third is the right option here now the next question in question number 177 natural selection where more individuals acquire specific character value other than the mean character value leads so this is very simple question from the evolution the question uh, saying us that this is suppose this is this is suppose the mean value. This is suppose the mean value. The mean value is the average population which is selected by the nature. But whatever population is coming on both the sides, that is, it is unnatural. Sometimes it occurs that one-sided population grows, that is called as stabilizing. 
Whereas when both the sides are growing together, that is called as disruptive. Here we have in the question that find out the more individuals acquiring specific character value other than the mean value. Means the mean value is in the center, but the population is growing. Mean value is leaving on one side. It means this is directional change. So directional change, second, is a right option in question number 177. In question number 178, it is written, given below are the two statements. Again, two statements are given. We have to find out which is correct, which is incorrect. The first statement is, the coagulum is formed network of thread-like thrombus. Coagulum means clot. The clot which is formed is called as the clot which is formed is called as coagulum. Coagulum is formed right, network of thread is right, but not because of the thrombin. Why? Because it is formed of fibrin. So this statement is wrong. Why? Because the coagulum is formed because of the fibrin, not a thrombin. Then the second statement, spleen is a graveyard of erythrocytes. This statement is right. Why? Because after 120 days, the RBC has to get destructed. The destruction of the RBC occurs in the spleen itself. So this statement is right. So first statement is wrong, second statement is right. So we have to look for the options where the first statement should be wrong. So here, given both the statements are correct, this is wrong. Both the statements are incorrect, wrong. In third option, statement 1 is right and statement 2 is wrong. So in the option 4, statement 1 is incorrect. This was incorrect. And statement 2 is right. This was right. So in question number 178, 4 is the right option. Breeding crops with higher levels of vitamins and minerals or higher proteins and healthier fats is called as. When we are in the breeding crops, we incorporate the vitamins and minerals more and more. That process is called as biofortification. Why? Why? Because biomagnification means in the first option it is given biomagnification. It means increase in the <coughs> Increase in the concentration of chemicals, just like DDT, it is given in NCRT also, that increase in the concentration is called as biomagnification. Increase in enrichment of the minerals and nutrients in the crops is called as biofortification. So direct, this line has taken from NCRT, nothing to read about the next option, bioremediation and bioremediations. So directly we are getting the answer biofortification. So in 179, V is the right option. In gene therapy of adenosine DMIAs, which is called as ADA, deficiency the patient requires periodic infusion of genetically engineered lymphocytes. What is this ADA? ADA is autosomal recessive disorder. This is autosomal recessive disorder in which the T lymphocytes, they do not form. There is a problem with the T lymphocytes. When the T lymphocytes are not formed, we have to provide the T lymphocytes from the outside. Now the question is, periodic infusion of genetically engineer, engineering. What genetically engineering we are doing here? We are incorporating the ADA gene in the lymphocytes and we are we are, after incorporating the ADA gene in the lymphocyte, we are putting in the body of a patient. Then, if we read the options, retroviral vector is introduced into these lymphocytes, this is, statement is right. Retrovirus is needed for the introduction of that gene into the, as a vector, into the um, lymphocyte. But here, whatever is asked is not the right answer for this. Option is, option is not right as per the question. Gene is isolated from the marrow cell producing ADA is introduced in the cells at embryonic state, uh, stages. Again, the statement is right but not as per the question asked. Lymphocytes from the patient's blood are grown in culture outside the body. Statement again right but not as per the question asked. In the question is our period of infusion, periodic infusion, repeated infusions has to be given only because the lymphocytes are not immortal. If they are not immortal. That is the reason we are providing genetically engineered, engineered lymphocyte to the ADA patients. So here in the question 180, the answer should be 4.